Margarita, now that you are mine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Everybody okay?
Greetings, Seattle. Greetings, greetings, greetings. It's always so good to be up here with you. So uh, enjoy your evening. We're going to enjoy ourselves to play some music, all right? <laughs>
Let's go back a ways. We're gonna go to the first album, the first album. We ain't done this stuff in a long, long time. This is a song that I actually wrote, and uh, my intention was uh, Albert Collins was gonna record it, which never happened, but uh, we, we talked about it, and it was gonna happen. So this really belongs to him, because I wrote it with him in mind. And I'll take you back a ways. Any of you got any of old albums, the first album, all right? Are you with me? All right. All right, I'm with you. Take me with you.
What do you think of Brant Leeper over there? Isn't that something? <laughs> all right, all right. This is a song I wrote with Paul Barrer, guitar player with Little Feet. You know the Little Feets. <laughs> we got together and did this one for you. I hope you like it, eh?
you very much. Well, I see that I was blind 
much. Thank you. We all right. You okay? <laughs> I like that. I like that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs>
much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A little bit of craziness there for you. A little bit of craziness. Thank you so much. We're going to do something here for you. We've been it's kind of like a mainstay in the set since we first did it. This song, uh, from its original concept, has its meaning. But uh, it seems like a lot of you people here, elsewhere, come up to me and say this song means something different. But actually, it's all the same. It's all about love and loss of love. And I like to dedicate it to all kinds of loss of love, not just a relationship thing. It's just, you know, things that happen during life here as we go through. But mainly, I want to thank, use this song just to show people they're not alone, especially the wonderful people that have been in these wars and have been trying to protect us. And I just uh, want to include them in on that, OK? okay. And those people that live with them. Take you on this one. Down, 'cause 
Mr. Brad Leifer on keyboard.
Mr. Nate Brown, ladies and gentlemen, on bass.
<laughs> what do you think of these two? Mr. Brantley Lieber on keyboards. Mr. Nate Brown on bass. Make him feel good.
ladies and gentlemen. Everybody here at the Triple Door for treating us so kind as they do. Especially my, my man back there taking care of the stage. Those two guys taking care of the stage, sound and lights. Make them feel really appreciated. Get put your hands together. On keyboards, ladies and gentlemen, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Please say good night to the most wonderful Brent Leeper, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> On bass, Vista, California, ladies and gentlemen. Please say good night to Mr. Nate Brown, ladies and gentlemen. On drums, Torrance, California, ladies and gentlemen. Please say good night to the wonderful Mr. Renee Beavers. I'm Coco Montoya. And I want to thank each and every one of you for making my night. I'm grateful for every night I get to play, ladies and gentlemen. Every night. But especially grateful right here in Seattle. Seattle, Washington. So till the next time, I want you all to take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll be back. We'll be right back. We ain't going too long, you know. We're coming right back for you. You know what I mean? God bless you all. Thank you so much for a great night. Thank you.
This song, the next song I want to do for you, a uh, little story to it, uh, to waste some time. <laughs> now this, uh, I did this song on my second album, and uh, turned out to be the title cut. And uh, what's great about this, I wrote this with a great writer, Mr. Doug McLeod, good blues cat, good friend of mine. We wrote this song, and when we got done with it, they said, oh, this is record company, so I don't know, this is kind of country, I don't know. Of course, me and uh, Doug took umbrage, you know. What do you mean? We write whatever we write, you know, but uh, I think I'm still in tune. Uh, the tricky thing about this, though, wasn't so much the record company, it was me getting the bright idea to get this slide player to play guitar on it. And um, I didn't know him, but I called him anyway, took a chance, and he called back and said yes. So uh, I'm very proud of the fact that uh, Leroy Parnell played guitar on this. Ain't that great? Ain't that wonderful? That's what I thought. Until I had to go out and play the song. I didn't think about that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, uh, I was very thankful to Leroy for kind of giving me an idea how to even approach slide playing. I don't play slide. So, uh, anyway, I feel kind of brave and I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care. Are you with me? That's my story, so let's see how it comes out, all right?
Now it's my time to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk out through all the pain. Forget about you all. Oh, somehow. I think I know better by now And no more will I be in misery Cause I think I know better by now I'll come up with the cash so the bills get sent. I pay out no cotton. 
Thank you. Good night, everyone. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.